yeah, what's going on guys? In today's video, I show you how to read CR3 images with older Adobe products. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's my slogan, you know it, you heard it. But if you're new to this channel, I am Ben. I do tech reviews, vlogs, and I do camera reviews mainly. But if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel, oh yeah. And if you're a long time subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Okay guys, let's get back into the video. Oh yeah, what's going on guys? Now, in a previous video, I talked about the Canon CR3 images and you can watch that up there if you wish. But with the Canon CR3, Adobe had just released updates to read Canon CR3. Now, Canon CR3 is Canon's new RAW format that comes out of the Canon M50 and other new Canon cameras. But I didn't realize Adobe did not update the camera RAW reader for older Adobe products. At least that's what you guys said in your comments. Now, here is a solution of how to read Canon CR3 images with older Adobe products. Let's get into the computer and start. Oh yeah. Let's jump into the computer and let me show you guys some CR3 images. Now these are CR3 images. These can be read with the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. But if you're on the older Adobe CS6, you guys have said you guys can't read these CR3 images. Now, here's the easiest way that I found to read the CR3 images out of newer Canon cameras. It's called Adobe Digital Negative Converter. Now this converter is, it'll convert your CR3 images to DNG, which older Adobe products can read. Now I'll leave you a link down in, this, in the description below, but all you gotta do is go down here, download. Download what you need if you're on Mac or Windows. After you download, you install the program, and let me just show you the program. This is Adobe Digital Negative Converter. First, you select your folder. Let's do that. Let me go to Projects. Not video, but photos. And Easter Egg Hunt. Select your, there's nothing here, but just select the folder. And make sure the photo is selected. You can save it in the same location or pick your own new location. I'm gonna pick the desktop. Uh, let's make an arbitrary folder to go into. Select a folder. You can rename each file if you want. And when you're done, just press convert. Now, while this happens, let the computer work and it'll convert all the images to DNG. There you have it guys. So after the DNG converter has converted your CR3 images to DNG, you are able to import those DNG files into the older CS6 software. It might work on older CS software if you're still on that, but in my honest opinion, just upgrade to the Creative Cloud. It's like $9.99 a month and you get Photoshop and Lightroom. But this way works too if you are still, you know, set on using older CS6. But guys, if you like this video, like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, subscribe. And until next time, oh yeah, I hope this helped. And I made it quick, so, you know, straight into the point. Okay guys, oh yeah, peace out.